Why are up? men so hated? Because we're the last protectors of the home, and if you get rid of them, then it's easy for the government to come in and run. Look, I have a cat. My cat depends on me for food and water. Yeah. She looks forward to me to bring her food and water. If I Mine throw her outside, too. and if you throw them outside, they probably couldn't exist. Don't you kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> if it pearl out. But do you see that as a man? A man that will stay home and take the woman's role, is that a man? Is that the woman's role when she makes more money and her career is But I'm asking you, 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 you two are the experts. Is that a man that will stay home and take well, the yes. woman's role? I don't call that a woman's role. I call that their household role. It's like I, I believe if one man can marry three women and those three women are okay with it, why am I to say that's wrong? So you personally believe that a man that stays home and sends his wife off to work is a man? A male that stays home and sends his wife off to work is a man? You personally believe that that's a man? You personally don't accept my answers when I give no, them. No, 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 I'm asking you. <laughs> Do you, you personally yeah, believe Yes, I, look, I said the I'm man is different. I'm surprised that you believe that. No, because a man is different things. I'm I believe. So I want to get into, um, there's a, a battle between men and women, and especially liberal women hating men. And do you agree that there is a warfare going on between men and women? I sort of do, because it's been designed that way, and so it worked. And who designed it, and why? Well, I believe that the powers that be back, you know, this is a 30 year disaster in the making. And when music and arts and things were taken out of school, and I lived in Oakland, the drugs were dropped down, the families were losing things, welfare was rampant between the white and the black community, and the only way you could get it is if you didn't have a man in the house, when that started happening, women got their hustle on and had to be more independent. With that independence, you lose some femininity, I believe. And so there comes the attitude that I don't need your ass yeah. because you don't, because they don't want you to have a family. They empower it to be. They want it to be warfare between the brothers and the sisters, the men and the women the whites and blacks, everything. This is all part of the big plan. You, do you believe there's a war for between men and women today? Yes, because there's a war on masculinity. And, 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 and who started this and why? That would be the liberal agenda because once you destroy families, which I agree with everything we now said at the beginning, once you destroy families, then the number one protector of liberty, in my opinion, is families right. because it makes it difficult for the state to come in and infiltrate the family. Well, once you break up the family, who becomes the daddy? I have a thing on my show, I call it the white daddy. You turn to the government. Your white daddy comes in and take care of you. You don't need your black man anymore. You don't need your family anymore. There was a time in which we had families at a greater rate than white people did. So what happened? Your great society. Who instituted great society? Liberals. Liberals continue to push a war between men and women. And when you say liberal, are these black and white liberals? Yes. Yeah. I talked about it last night on my show. We got a Me Too movement. But yet three out of four black girls before the age of 18 have been molested or raped. But that Me Too movement doesn't exist. You watch what happened with the whole R. Kelly and Charlemagne the God. Even other black women turned against those young girls who were violated in protection of the men. Why is that? Because if those were two young white girls that had even made the accusation towards those men. You think those men would have made it? Yeah, Fight. immediately. Why are men so hated? Well, again, if the state can remove the men from the house. I know, but what, there is, uh, is more than just that. Men today are hated. They're the hated. last protectors. Do they're you hated. feel hated as a man in society today? Well, I don't feel it because I don't care that they you hate us. You should feel it. No, I don't feel it, but. But it's there. But men. But people but, hate you. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter. That's their problem. But I know that men are hated. Yeah, you I know, read your Instagram post. You, you pretty hated. Well, and why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how you don't feel that. Just read it. I literally don't feel it. <laughs> and what, why are men so hated? Because we're the last protectors of the home. And if you get rid of them, then it's easy for the government to come in and run. Look, I have a cat. My cat depends on me for food and water. Yeah. 
She looks forward to me to bring her food and water. If I throw her outside, too. and if you throw them outside, they probably couldn't exist. Don't you, kitty cat? <laughs> Amazing. If it purr them out, but yeah, I see. <laughs> if you look at the way I, the way my cat works, if I put her outside, she'd come to that door and scratch, scratch, scratch. She's not an outside cat. Right. And the same thing with coyotes. I'm out there uh, when when you anywhere in the desert, you feed a coyote, it'll keep coming back. What they did was decided to remove the man and feed the woman. Right. The woman comes back every time. She will push that man to the side because she knows that's guaranteed food. I did a story a little while ago, and it was all black women, and it was really sad. The government shut down for like three days. Well, the food staff didn't come in. They were only three days late. Three days that you didn't prepare for three days over. And they did it on purpose because, of course, they showed it on the news. And it was nothing but black women saying, where's my food stamp? They was about to tear the place up. And it goes to show the difference between, like, men and women. When you have a man in the household, that man knows and thinks to store, to store for bad times. Yeah. Well, once you take that man out of the household and you let those women, even when those women are raising those boys, they're not teaching them to store. They're teaching them to wait for <coughs> it to be given to them. Yeah. When is a man... It's such a generic or general question because I think one of the worst parts of society is that we allow people who aren't men to define masculinity mm. or define what a man is. Uh, normally, you said I, I didn't even try. That, that's why I'm, I was really, I wanted to clap because in our community, we have a whole lot of women saying, you're not a man, and their definition of what a man is is usually not what a man is. So it's very hard to define it because they come in different shapes, shades attitudes and yet they're still men and I guess if you wanted to break it down or boil it down to someone a protector a provider um, I don't know just uh, as a man your job is to keep family if you have one or even help families if you're not in that family I think if we just had a simple want to provide and protect that to me do you agree with Lunell that a man can be many different things yes you do and why would you agree with that? Because no two people are the same, and someone's idea of what a man or masculinity could be completely different. It's just like with a family. Uh, I interviewed for my movie a man who was talking about it because the movie's called A Fatherless America. And he was like, well, I'm actually the stay-at-home dad. He said, I, I get my kids up in the morning. He said, I cook, not clean. He said, you my wife at home does. while his work? Yeah, his wife works. Is that a man? Yes, if that's what his role is. But do you see that as a man? A man that would stay home and take the woman's role, is that a man? Is that the woman's role when she makes more money and her career is But I'm asking you, 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 you two are the experts. Is that a man that would stay home and take well, the yes. woman's role? I don't call that a woman's role. I call that their household role. It's like I, I believe if one man can marry three women and those three women are okay with it, why am I to say that's wrong? So you personally believe that a man that stays home and sends his wife off to work is a man? A male that stays home and sends his wife off to work is a man? You personally believe that that's a man? You personally don't accept my answers when I give no, them. No, 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 I'm asking you. <laughs> Do you, you personally yeah, believe Yes, I, look, I said the I'm man is different. I'm surprised that you believe that. No, because a man is different things. I'm I believe. I believe that if your household works, I think that's one of the reasons why families and houses don't work is because you have too many outside people telling you what you're doing in your house isn't right. I'm trying to define what a man exactly. is. Exactly. Would you stay home and send your wife off to work? I stay home now. No, if you had a wife, would you stay home and send your wife off to work? Yes. You would? I, I surely would. Now, if, hey. look, if, I, if she didn't have to, then no. But no, I no, think no, no, I'm saying, would you do it? If she didn't have to, no. What do you mean if she didn't have to? If, she, if I'm making the money already, she doesn't have to, no. But I also, I know, I talk to a lot of career-oriented women who are like, I don't want to just sit at home. I like my job. You can't have a I got two girls. So I wouldn't want my little girls to go up, grow up, go to school, get their career started, and then because they get a husband or a boyfriend, they now have to nix that to sit in the house and cook and clean. That's amazing. I'm surprised to hear you say this. Why would they go to How school and you? do all would that stuff? How about you? Would you want to marry a man... And then he stay home and you go to work. In my situation, being an entertainer, that's what it is. My husband is at home and was at home with my child while I was on the road. I could take him some time, couldn't take him all the time. Was making enough money to where other little money he made, we put it together, that's what it was. My niece is married to a man who was on her third baby in three years. He had a gym. He sold his gym. She liked her job. 
She wanted to get out of the house with the kids, and she made money. So she is working. He is at home. Mm -hmm. Okay? Amazing. What is a woman? A woman is the backbone to the man and makes him better and stands by his side and loves life and takes care of herself and takes care of her family and, 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 and you know, just like you can't really describe what a man is, it's hard to describe what a woman is because there's so many things. We are not men, however, you know. A lot of women say, well, I was the mama and the daddy. Well, you can't be unless you taught him how to take care of his balls, unless you taught him how to shave. Yes, you can take you. You can't be the man. You can't be, baby. You can only be the best mom you can be. But that don't mean just get any fool out the street to be a daddy to your kid. You know? What is a woman? 36 double D 2440. 36 40 53. Are my clothes? That's it. Anything over there, that's it. That's, that, that's the cutoff line. Well, that's the cutoff line. You okay, go above it, you do it. You do it. You're doing I'm good. Still that's it. right. Yeah, that's right. But no, no, um, I, I love her explanation as far as the idea of being there and being the support system for that man that you believe Why a man not? is. Why not? You believe a man is supposed to be out there uh, working and take, bringing home the bacon. So you need that support. You need someone that makes you want to run through that wall and come home and get your bruises uh, rubbed and things like that. So I think oh, that yes. idea of a woman is the softer side of that man, the, the conscious of that man, so to speak. If you take a man and you put him out there, he's like a bull in a china shop. That woman is like that calming influence on that man. Or know? not. For <laughs> real. You know, everybody talks about the aggressive black woman. Da, 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 da. You'd be surprised. You're a man. You don't know what men do when they react to a woman. You only know how you personally react with women and maybe your friends. But there's millions of men out there. Is it all right to be cursing on this thing here? I don't know. <laughs> what, I think it's too late to ask that know, question. Huh? And yeah, you should have said that to me as the guest. Is it all right to be cursing on, on this thing? How long have you been doing this show? Is this the first this, one you said? Huh? I curse oh, okay. on mine. So let me well, ask. Uh, really funny do you that. agree with Lun Lunell that the woman is the backbone of the man? Yeah, and it's a fluid thing. Cause you I said do, yes? Well, yes, as far I mean, as, because no. it's a fluid thing, meaning, I just Tommy, think a you're woman. shocking me today. I just think a woman. Tommy, you're shocking me today. My charm has changed. Something has happened. happened here. It's your carpet. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, so I guess the what I believe. I believe the woman is fluid. Of the man. No, I believe it's a fluid thing, meaning, like she said, there are times in which there are a lot of men who need that woman to be aggressive and push them. But a lot of men, like I think I'm one of them. When I'm in a relationship, that woman helps me become better. Because when I'm by myself, uh, the, the last girl I dated seriously, I never got up and made up the bed. I was slovenly. I was just pretty disgusting. That's me. But, <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but after I was with her for a while, I, she had me getting up, making up the bed, because she couldn't get in the bed. And she said, I refuse to get in that bed if it's, if it's not made up. So next thing I know, I was doing some of the things that I never thought of doing. Or you feel like this, I need to do this because I now have more than just me. So she made you start doing the woman's work in the home? No, just some things that made me better as a person even when we broke up. How did making a bed make you better? Because I wasn't so sloppy and nasty. Oh so you were God. a nasty person I, Yes, I was. And it took okay, somebody. Okay, well, went, thank see, God for your girl. See, it took somebody to tell me, you can't keep leaving these stains disgusting. in here. I didn't make those. <laughs>